I think my legs are probably stronger than yours. Probably, but you you can probably crush watermelons with your thighs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Speaking of which, replace that watermelon with a pumpkin, then we've got a Halloween down. Ooh, happy Halloween! In a couple days, but we'll... yeah, a week after this podcast goes out. But never mind. Whatever, <laughs> don't care. If it's Halloween when you're listening to this, hello, happy Halloween, I'll be at work. This, we've not actually started the show yet. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Robert. We didn't even do the intro. Uh, okay. Do the intro! <laughs> no, I might... I, I might use some scary music instead this time. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that's 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 more sort of clubhouse than <laughs> spooky. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, and it's scary. Ah. <laughs> you know it's scary drinking coffee out of tea mug. Oh. The intro music like halfway through that. I like seeing cut back in with <laughs> I like seeing the blue line. <laughs> it's it's funny how easily memor- easily mesmerized you are. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Anti Central Gamers Podcast. Easily mesmerized when I look at your face. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Anti Central Gamers Podcast. I'm gonna leave that intro out. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this. Delightful Tuesday evening. Robert, what are you finding so funny? Just Nathan. Nathan is hilarious. Oh. <laughs> I'm still re- I'm still reveling in that joke I made the other day. About about you. How, you, how you're young and full of spunk. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone listening, that might sound like a gay joke. It's not. It is. It kind of is. <laughs> it sort of is. To, to, when to, did you... That was off the podcast. That, that was no. off the podcast. Yeah, we weren't recording during with that. Yeah, we weren't recording. It was just a one-on-one thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay, just just to explain, basically, Robert was um, being all mopey about a reason. And I said, don't worry, Robert, you're young and full of spunk. And I said, no, not in that way, as in you're constantly full of semen. <laughs> <laughs> and I because... said, I said, no, Nathan, that's the problem. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Sex jokes. La 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 la. I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest, ladies and gentlemen. We, we have no fucking show this week. Hi there, my name's Robert. And oh yeah, I haven't introduced you. Who are you, is, Robert? This is the Lonely Hearts Hotline. If you're <laughs> desperately single like me, why don't you send me a message on Twitter and be like, Hi, you're a single man. I'm a single man. Let's do this. Yeah, you've seen all the photographs that Robert has posted of myself and himself on the on the Twitter. Yeah, it's more than likely if you follow the podcast and you follow the Twitter, you've seen my face. So. Oh, I didn't actually check to see if we got any questions. If you interested, pop along. I'll, Bec- I'll get my phone. Yeah, out. you check to see if we got any questions because I said that if we got any questions, I would beat you round the head with them. Please don't beat me <laughs> because of that picture you posted. Cleb, Cleb favorited it. <laughs> Is it Cleb? Oh man, what the yeah, photograph? Yeah, yeah, Clem. No, he favorited uh, the fact that you said that you were going to beat me around the head with it. <laughs> oh, yes, well, um, as I've mentioned a second ago, we don't really have much of a show. We we desperately looked up some news topics, um, but there's only a couple of things I think we can talk about. Well, nothing that really interests us. No, nothing hugely oh, we have wonderful. Oh, Oh, that's Jesus interesting. Um, uh, but, but just favorites and retweets. No one oh, a question. Oh, try harder, guys. Chop, chop. Get to it now. We, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll, we'll... Go. On to Twitter now. Oh, shit, we're not live, are we? Fuck! <laughs> uh... I, I quite like that picture of you. I think it looks hilarious. Yeah, hilarious. That's fine, I guess. Oh, look at you. Aww. I did, I did pull a bit of a face. Aww. I was trying to look natural, because if I look my actual natural, then I can... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have a couple of news topics this week. Um, nothing. Well, we have one that I think is um, rather interesting that I've only just remembered while I was in the bathroom break. It's not about my penis. Don't worry. Wait, sorry. Why are you talking about your penis? It's not about my penis. Nathan's talking about his penis. I don't. I don't bring. I don't bring my penis at all on this show. 
Um, the other one, it's, it's kind of amusing. What? 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 <laughs> Good. <laughs> what topic's just sort of weird, so, more, so much as it is interesting, so... Oh, we're going into a topic. Are we going into the topic? Why don't we... Well, first of all, I should say that to pad this show out, because it's not a... We are padding. Because... This is padding. Everything... This whole show is padding. Just turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> So we can pad the show out a little bit. This episode is going to be the spooky Halloween special. Because it's it's the last podcast episode before Halloween. Therefore, That's true. it has to be spooky. Robert, your spooky levels are about a two at the moment. Try oh, and man, up the spooky. I gotta, I gotta get more spooky. You know what I'm going to do? What? I've got an idea. You need to... I mean, I mean we'll do, go, do a topic, but I'm going to... Um, You're going to... Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... You got okay. Can you actually do the thing rather than? I'm gonna find a thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, we'll go into the first like not so interesting topic just because because we, we rag on Konami a lot. I think, and I, I feel yeah. it's only fair to just get that over over and done with. They're just um, a bunch of shards. <laughs> well, this this latest, I don't know whether to call it an a, an act or a stunt or a like a sticking a hot poker at their own asses or what, but. They've basically announced that oh no, no Kojima hasn't left. No, no, he's just on a he's just on a very long vacation. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> despite the despite the fact that Kojima very recently actually had his goodbye party, and there are there is photographic evidence of him at his goodbye party, and Konami, and Konami just said uh, it though that that's probably not what it was. We weren't aware of the. He's been, we pro- don't remember this happening. He's, he's all right. He's he's in the back. You see, he's just he's just having a sleep. He's not dead. We definitely haven't killed him. He's just having a quick rest. He's not dead. Don't at all. don't don't look don't look in the knife drawer. Okay, <laughs> just don't, guys. Seriously, don't. Guys, whatever you do, do not look in the fucking knife drawer. So I have to cut look, you. Get out of the knife drawer. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So Konami, being Konami, have you found your thing yet? I'm I'm searching. Okay, I'll it's just I... looking for possible ideas. There is um okay there okay there is a bit of a more substan- substantial topic I can bring up. Um, until dawn, yes, actually surprised Sony and how well it sold. Like it really? sold it sold really well, and they Did were surprised it? by that. Did it um, sell well? Yeah, it sold really well. Damn. Apparently, like pretty much everyone who has a PS4 bought one by the sounds of it. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not surprised. It was sort of really hyped up. Yeah, it, it got a lot of hype, it got really good reviews, and um, yeah, it's been praised by pretty much everyone who's played it, other than me, obviously. Well, well, I, 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 well I, you must be... Cha- like, because I think I wouldn't have joined the enjoyed the game either if I played it alone. True, true, and... Now that I'm playing it with you and other people who are occasionally with us... I'm really enjoying it, but and also I'm barely just paying attention. Yeah, so. yeah, there is. Well, that's weird because from when we're recording, you you seem like you're like laser focused on that game with how but little you talk. But it's just because I try really hard to like because I I don't want it to throw me into a question and me be like, I don't know what the fuck I just asked me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my I've I've expressed my problems with that game, but it just it feels like. As a combination of a movie and a game, it doesn't necessarily work as well as I would like it to. Mm. Sim- simply because in a movie, you can't really go back and change events, whereas the way I've played games is if you fuck up, you can go back and change it, which is not something you can do in Until Dawn. At least from what I understand, if you complete the game, you can actually play it chapter by chapter. Yeah. Which is as far as I understand, but again, I could be completely wrong about that. But th- I, I've enjoyed the game. I've had enjoyment with the game, um, and that's all I need to say on it. I have enjoyed my time with the game, so don't hate me yeah. for, for finding what I perceive to be a fault in a are, story-based narrative game. We are enjoying it much more okay. now. So, um, But yeah, the, ga- uh, the creators of the game, or Sony, one of the two, basically came out and said um, they're looking into a sequel. Now, already not a sequel to Until Dawn, but like a, a, a spiritual, spiritual sequel. Successor, yeah, yeah. Like it's going to be more than likely a completely different genre. Like it's not going to be horror. It could it, well, it could very well not be horror. Is what I mean. Um, but I suppose what I can ask you is: Is there a sort of game or a genre that you would like to see tackled by uh, this sort of um, type of game? I've oh, romantic I... comedy, <laughs> where you. Well, actually, uh, actually, you see, I'm trying to think of that. Like, um, it'd be sort of like imagine a, a, a closer... western westernized dating sim. It kind of would be like imagine a close up of um, Colin Firth's Colin Firth's 
face, just going, mm, you know, ooh, as he looks sort of side to side, trying to choose whether to punch a woman in the face <laughs> or flirtatiously romanticise her. Oh, my God. I'm so good at this. Like, I What, should... looking for things on your phone? What are you even looking for? Are you looking up creepypasta? No. Can we write a creepypasta about ourselves? Oh, my... Is that what we're going to do in this show? No, no, no. And Robert we? walked into the office building where he works now, definitely. And standing under a light shade was a silhouetted figure of a lady with long black hair. Robert, you take over. Um, she looked at the two boys. And Wait, why am I there now? You're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, no, no. I am, I am simply Sparky, the electrician. <laughs> I need to fix the lighting, she, but she there's looked, a scary woman standing she, underneath it. She looked at the two boys, and she uh, tilted her head, and then she said, Nathan, take over! <laughs> Nathan looked perplexed as she screamed, Nathan, take over. <laughs> he grabbed the nearest item to his person, which just so happened to be a stapler, and handed it to Robert... And looked deep into his eyes and said, you know what to do with this. <laughs> and then he ran to the window, leaping out of it, thankfully remembering that he was on the first floor. <laughs> Robert, take over. Robert looked at the stapler. Uh, stop looking at Paul while we're trying to record sorry, a podcast. I'm sorry, I can't I help it. it. Freaking He's Tumblr, man. Pressed it firmly Tumblr, to his so temple! And you follow Freaking porn blogs. Slammed his head against the wall. I don't actually Is it at least good porn? <laughs> the end. Oh, Robert. It's not even Happy nice creepy pasta, pasta, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you have... It, like, look, that's not... <laughs> that's horrible. What actually are you doing me that shit. You've been distracted by your phone for a while. I'm, like, trying to find... Because I'm on Tumblr. Of course I'm trying to find, like, any ask prompts that I can, like, ask you. I'm not here to judge penises. Cool. I'm out of work. Yeah, that's for like not as in like um, Nathan at the it, moment. It's sort of like the interview I'll that you tell you me. Okay. Oh, yeah, tell me a joke. A man got hit in the head with <laughs> okay, a can well, of coke. Oh. He was alright though, because it was a soft drink. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, Robert, why must you hurt me so? Mm. Nathan, did you hear about the kidnapping at the school? It's okay, he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Is this what we've resorted to for humour? Nathan, what did the duck say when he bought lipstick? What? Put it on my bill. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Robert, man, you're killing me. Oh, well, you can hear all this and more on Robert's stand-up DVD that's coming out October 29th. Hey, guys, instead of the John, I call my toilet the gym. That way it sounds better when I say I go to the gym first thing every morning. Ugh. I don't know if that's a joke or whether that's just... <laughs> I, duh, is that... He, that's not a joke, is it? Oi, what happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? It croaks? Gets towed away. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not firing on all cylinders at the moment. Bum, 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 bum. Is this just going to be the bad joke episode? Because well, I thought that was the rest of them. Every day is a bad joke day. Uh, well, life is strange finished. Why don't you talk about that? Well, because I haven't... I, I played the second episode, and then I haven't played it in months. Hey, and now, Robert. Now the last episode's out, and I still haven't played it. Hey, Robert, do you want a spoiler? No. It, it ends when the main character takes a stapler and slams it into her forehead. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh my god, I can predict the future! <laughs> No, there's it, people have been raving about it, but I've had little to no interest in the game ever since its release. Robert, Robert praising it has been pretty much the only connection I've actually had to the game. Yeah, because he seemed to jizz them all over the first two episodes. Yeah, and and then I stopped playing because you were out uh, without internet. How can you go without internet for like a good three months? No, is how, how long have you been in that new place? Has it been three months? Uh, two months. Two months. Jesus. Because I went a whole, I went a whole month moving into this new place without internet, and it drove me a bit fucking crazy. It's hard. Um, you can, there's only so many times you can play Burnout Three. Bright side is that like I have unlimited 3G. Oh, so I can use my phone and do whatever. Yeah, my phone runs out of 3G when I check my email. So mine's unlimited, so I can. Just uh, and I live in a, we live in a shitty internet area anyway. Yeah, I do have a hard time getting 3G, but <laughs> I have 3G that is unlimited, so. 
<laughs> it doesn't even matter. Sorry, I thought of a thing, but I'm not going to say it. Please say the thing. I said you have a hard time getting three Ds. Uh, not at one time. I'm <laughs> I'll tell you what. I figured as we're doing bad jokes, More I might porn. as well join in. More porn? Is it? Is it better porn? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. Why is Jack Black masturbating? <laughs> he does look a little bit like. <laughs> That's a potential for a title. <laughs> Seeing as how um, John Sean did not cause nine eleven, it's probably the most popular episode we did. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. It's it. We get popular when we name celebrities. So let's do that. Um. Yeah. Is this an idea, or are you just... No, I'm trying to name a celebrity. Oh, uh, no, I've, no we've, got, we've got the title, Rob. We've got it in the bag. Damn. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Um, okay, well, seeing as how this is definitely the Halloween special, do you want to talk about any spooky spooky games or spooky times you've had in general as, well, as the, a, a I mean, The only spooky thing that I've been playing is Until Dawn, and I'm, re- I mean, I'm really enjoying it. Has it spooked you much? I suppose... Only jump scares? I haven't been, like, spooked. Like, I haven't ever felt, oh, I don't want to play anymore. There are, there are some times coming up where, the, the, uh, at least myself, when I was playing alone, we maybe go, oh my god, holy fuck, what should I do? What should I do? Was this a good idea? I don't think it was a bad idea. <laughs> I think it was a bad idea. Oh god, he's coming. <laughs> that, oh god, that sounded a bit weird towards the end, though. <laughs> oh god, he's coming, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, until, until dawn, it, it got very tense. I don't know what I'd call it scary, but... Yeah, I'd say I'd, you'd probably get tense, but nah... Um... I don't... That's the thing, because I don't know how scary a game can be when there is very limited player input. Mm. Yeah, I mean... Press R2 to pick up an item. <laughs> press uh, press R2 to pick up item. Rotate the stick very slowly to read what's on the back of the item. There's nothing on the back of the item. Put the item down. You've just wasted your fucking time. <laughs> oh god, more porn. For fuck's sake, Robert, can you stop looking at porn when we're trying to record a podcast? I'm not trying to, it just happens. <laughs> That's a nice bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is much nicer porn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to look at porn while you... <laughs> I've scrolled away from the porn, sorry. Okay, now, there's you in a fancy waistcoat. That is me in a Do fancy you want to talk waistcoat. about your fucking waistcoat? No, don't tell people about my waistcoat. <laughs> it looks... I I went and saw Nathan after... And Blake. And Bla- yes, he yes. exists in our lives. Oh my god, I was... Oh, okay, make it sound like I don't fucking acknowledge other people. <laughs> well, it's just because I'm so obsessed with you, Nathan. Um, really, you seem far more obsessed with Blake. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we accusatory podcast. <laughs> I I came straight from work, um, and then Nathan was like, "Oh, you look very fancy." I was like, "Yeah, I should fucking hope so." This <laughs> waistcoat cost me seventy pounds. Um, I, I will say it did not go exactly like that. He said, "Guess how much this waistcoat costs," and I said seventy pounds, and I just so happened to be right. Yeah, we high fived. It was cool. We high fived. The thing is, every time we high five, I go for a really slow, awkward high five, and you go full whack with it. Yeah, I do because I I, I revel in awkwardness. I yeah. If you, you do, couldn't tell you through do. this podcast, it's like Nathan is. Possibly one of the most awkward people I've ever met in <laughs> Oh, should we talk about human life? We, I think we might mention we went to the gym earlier today. <laughs> we went to the gym. We were we were healthy people, <laughs> and um, yeah, we we were so healthy. And um, this guy oh that God. I you the, were like the king of awkward. I don't know how you. Do I it. I am pretty much on par with Michael Sarah when it comes to um, awkwardness. Yeah, and this guy that I knew from um, school. Came over and said, "Oh, Nathan, I've not, I've not seen you in forever." It's like, "Oh, hi, how are you doing? I didn't know you worked here, sort of thing." You know, just sort of general chat. He talked about my life for the past couple of months because Facebook, yeah, it does that to people. He, and he was like, "Oh, I saw you got married," and you were like, "Oh, yeah, thank you. yeah, thank you, thank you for noticing that I had a life event. Thank you." But I, I don't think I came off too badly to him. I've had much worse conversations with people, and the minute he walks away, I just turned around and says, "I have, I can't remember that guy's name." <laughs> <laughs> it's just like so class like I, I had my headphones in and I just saw him talking to another person I was like okay <laughs> and I took my headphones out I was like ooh Nathan you know a person he was like I cannot remember that guy's name <laughs> <laughs> well I mean he agreed with me like I've not seen hide or hair of um, anyone from that school for 
ages, apart from, you know, people who, whom I regularly hang out with anyhow, because we've been best friends forever, bruh. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just, I, I didn't expect to see him, so I didn't expect to see anyone from that school ever again, so I just kind of erased them from my memory, because I feel that's what you have to do to make memories for important things, like that brilliant sandwich I had the other day. Oh, man, sandwiches, Sh- yo. Should I tell you about the, like, about a great sandwich? I mean, this is this is the best sandwich ever, can I add? And pe- you people may be disgusted, but fuck off. This is the best sandwich ever. What you do is you take some toast, you toast that son of a bitch. No, wait, you take some bread and you toast that son of a bitch. <laughs> when you toast that son of a bitch, you make it nice and brown. Yeah, You make it brown. Pretty good brown. Not too brown. Like burn. Don't burn it. Then you put some motherfucking butter on that toast. Not too much butter. Good butter as well. Proper butter. Then once you've done the butter, you put some Marmite on it. Not too much Marmite, just a nice even coat so it doesn't overpower everything. You put some cheese on the twat. Because twat. Not too, <laughs> not too thick a cheese. You want to have it melt. You want to have it melt on that toast. You want to keep that toast warm. You want to make it nice and warm toast. Next up, you get yesterday's sausages. Yesterday you warm sausages. them up in the microwave so they're nice and warm. Or you could cook some new sausages. But that's too much fucking effort for this, laddo. Then you put those <laughs> sausages, you cut them into half. You put those sausages on top of the cheese. They melt to the cheese, yes. And then you cut up an onion, you dice it, you dice it real small. And you add the diced onion on top of the sausages. And then you put that shit together and you cut it up and you eat it and then you jizz them. Oh my god, Nathan, you're so <laughs> passionate. <laughs> Sorry, I felt like we needed some life in this podcast. Oh my so god! I get, so I started to get very passionate about about food, which is all I am passionate about. Oh, that is a spooky ghost. What uh, is what is this? Robert. <laughs> Robert, you're going to ruin us. <laughs> Robert, why did you do that to us? For all of you who don't know, I was dancing at Nathan while that was happening. Why, while that possibly copyrighted music is playing. I don't think it is. It's probably fine because I don't think anyone like copyright searches podcasts. It's like chiptune. Yeah, um, do you want to credit the artist, or are we just going to look at more porn? It's it's called It's a Mystery. It's a Mystery. Like, there there is no... <laughs> that is a really cute-looking ghost and a cute song, by the way. There, yeah, there is no artist. It's a Tumblr post. Uh, for those of you who are, like, new to Tumblr, welcome to Tumblr. Uh, hello. Um, it is it, it is a mystery as a meme, and it happens every Halloween. So... There you are. Is it, does that song come around every Halloween? Yeah, it's attached to the ghost. Oh, I've I've never heard that before. But then again, I've not. I've never been a Tumblr right. Yeah, well, I am. <laughs> you're you're always on Tumblr looking at porn, apparently. Yeah, there's a lot of porn on here. There is a lot of porn. It, yeah. It's almost as if that's all the internet is good for. Well, it's, it's, and this amazing podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned, by the way. Stay tuned for more. It porn. might get better. <laughs> That should be on. that should be our tagline: Antisocial Gamers Podcast. It, it might better. get better. No, it might get better. We don't want to build up too much hope. Oh, there's a rotund gentleman in underwear now. It's all right. Well, don't tell them that I'm barely dressed. Oh, those are some very green underpants. I think they're quite nice. I mean, yeah, the the, the underpants are nice. I don't... The, the the underpants are a bit too tight. Yeah, uh, for uh, that's why Robert must you break me? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I forgot. Are they actually nude in there? I really hope so. I don't see any. Sorry, we're looking at a, a picture of um, Aaron and Danny from that the game show that we don't talk about enough on this podcast. And sorry, I've just spat on your phone. And um, they're dressed as Mario and Luigi, except they're naked. naked. Apart from their gloves, hats, and mustaches, but you can't see their crotch. But it's kind of like it's slightly below the waistband, like where normal underpants would be. So it's difficult to tell whether or not they are actually wearing anything lower. I hope. Oh, there's a spooky skeleton. Yeah, this is. I've I've scrolled down to where last Halloween did, was. Did you ever played any? This is last Halloween's pose, was it? They're, they're, they're my... Oh, look how awesome those cakes look. This is my kind of, like, likes. Like, so when I'm like, oh, right. oh I, I, I will click that for reference later. So you liked that man in his underpants? I like dudes with bellies. Okay. 
Robert. Hey, you, welcome if, to the podcast. Where if we you, talk about our fetishes. If, if you have a belly and you're a single man, send me a message. Oh, Robert. <laughs> I know it's getting close to the holiday season, but oh, please. Don't remind me about Christmas. I don't you could come to my Christmas shanty. So maybe. lonely. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I, I might get told off if I invite other people to my Christmas shanty. It's, it's I. I'm. I think I'm going to Scotland. Oh. I don't. I just might. just gonna cross the border and say, "Well, this is my Christmas." Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna go visit my mother in Scotland and be very bitter. And be bitter because that's what you do at Christmas. You play Monopoly and you be bitter. I am always bitter. I'm always playing Monopoly. <laughs> you know what? Like. You know? um, I don't think we've truly tested our friendship yet. We've not played a board game like that. Well, because I'm a really sore loser. Well, I have two. Kind I'm of kind things. of the opposite. I'm a very smug winner, so I think exactly. we'd actually get into a fight. I'm, I'm, I'm a sore loser and a smug winner. <laughs> so I make people really angry when I play a game and I win, but I also get really angry when I play a game and I lose. But I have no problem losing when I know it's my own fault. <laughs> but if I'm losing I... because the game is bullshit, then I will be angry. Were you um were you ever that into trading card games? Yes. Okay, um have you I played both Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. I play I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh all the time. I kicked ass it until some wanker stole my Yu-Gi-Oh deck, which had some great cards in it. I've never played since. Um, but no, a few years ago, back when it was popular, though, I, I got a little bit into a, ge- a card game called Vanguard, Cardfight Vanguard. Oh, yes, I've heard about Cardfight Vanguard. Yeah, it's, um, I say I got into it, I liked playing it, but I let other people do the card collecting for me, because I just can't do that shit. That, that's like heroin. Yeah. That thing. I think I bought two booster packs in my entire, um, obsession with this card game, and I, I failed all the time, so I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no. And, um... Yeah, sort of back in the early early games when... Because my darling husband now um, was so kind enough to build a deck for me. And it's it's a pretty solid deck. It it, wor- it works well with what I do, sort yeah. of thing. It's just like, there's not a whole lot of tactic to it. It's just hit them hard and fast. Yeah. Which is what I do well. Um, and yeah, but sort of when back when I wasn't very good at the game, it would be a case of, do you want to play this game? Oh, sure, yeah, I'll play. And then it would get like a few turns in and I'm losing best. So, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I hate everything. It's like, because I'm not like a sore loser as in like, I f- like flip the table over and storm out the room. I'm just like, I really don't want to play this game anymore, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then I just won't talk to anyone for like another few hours. All of my emotions are being uh, fucking torn down. You're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> We're no longer friends. <laughs> Pack up your shit. Get but out. no, then I got good at the game and won most of the time. So now I like the game. You are just the worst. <laughs> a game is good when you, I can win. You are the worst, too. <laughs> How am I the worst? You are the worst. <laughs> I'm a capitalist at heart. So long as I'm winning, it, what else matters? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, but d- that was there a point to that? Oh no, we were just talking about how we've never played Monopoly, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the fact that we um. I know that um, we probably wouldn't be able to play it for the channel because I know that Jace refuses to play that game ever, and um, understandably what, so. Monopoly? Yeah, yeah. And um, I'd, last time I tried to play it with Blake, he seemed very distracted by other things. I don't think he enjoyed it very I, much. I don't think Blake has the attention span no. to play Monopoly. <laughs> I think he's too chill to care because Monopoly is a is a kill or don't care game. Yeah, like you even have to be like Blake will be like, oh, I'll buy this shit. Like maybe he won't keep track of his fucking properties. And no, then... it's like, oh, I've lost. So, oh, it doesn't matter. Whereas anyone else who's played is like, okay. If you land on this property, I am actually going to stab you in your sleep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, you have this property, do you want to trade this property? And they're like, uh, no. And I'm like, why won't you do trades with me? There, there was um, an Xbox 360 Monopoly game. I think it's called like uh, Monopoly Streets, um, which we got one year for some reason back in the old uh, family house. And my dad had this... I don't know. My dad's my dad's kind of a gamer as well. Um, he has this weird obsession with it. Like, like he would um, play with the AI, and he'd have one of the AI on hard, and he would make it so that it was just him and the AI left. Um, but he would own like all of the properties except one, 
and you try and get as much money out of the AI as possible, because I don't know whether he thought there was, like, an achievement or, like, something you could unlock at the end of it if you earn, like, a billion Monopoly money or something <laughs> sort of like so that. So many Monopoly money. But no, it, it was literally, like, um... Because at, at the beginning of every turn, it would say, like, oh, you take turn, da-da-da. And it got to the point, because, you know, I spent most of my um, pre-adult, post-teen life just sat in the living room on my laptop talking to people online, because yeah. that's what sensible, rational human beings do. Yeah. And I'd look up at one point, and I'd just say, uh, Dad's login, you are on turn 550. It's like, <laughs> you do not need to be playing this game that long. <laughs> 550! <laughs> Fuck. And pretty much all of those turns, it was just him, this one of our AI, he was just rinsing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fleece it out of all of the money possible. Oh my god. Uh, Robert. Yes. Do you have anything you want to talk about? Uh, well, you see. Anything I, spooky related? I'm trying to think. Oh god. Okay. Um, have you ever gone trick or treating? I have, yes. Yeah, what, like, what kind of costumes have you, like, worn? I have always been incredibly lazy with my trick-or-treating. Really? Really. Oh, no. Um, I think, I think I've only ever been a couple of times, and both times I was, um, a Grim Reaper, which right. means I had a black dressing gown and a scythe. You are the worst. <laughs> a scythe that was, like, five pounds from the costume shop. Every time you tell me a story about you, just, like, <laughs> I, you just lose a bit more respect for me. How can you be so bad? <laughs> Nathan, the, un- the unrespectables. That's what our podcast should be called. The unrespectable. Yeah, I'll speak for yourself. I'm... <laughs> You're a respectable, upstanding gentleman about town. Yes. <laughs> I'm the most upstanding of all the gentlemen. <laughs> I have people... I don't know. How about you? Have you ever gone trick or treating? Yeah, um, I mean, Halloween is a much bigger deal in like Canada and America than it is over here. Like oh, yeah. over here, you get surprised when people are like, well, "You're like, oh, I'm going trick or treating." You're like, "Yeah, but you're like why?" Yeah, no, because what well, used to be a thing because when I was a child, there were quite a few people um, trick or treating, but you just don't see it anymore. Yeah, but there's. Every, everyone does it in America and Canada. Like oh, it's, yeah. It's massive. Halloween is a really big thing. Of course, because like, it benefits all the companies that run the country. Yeah, but it's the, it's the fact that, like, in England, like, it hits September, October, and instead of seeing Halloween decorations and shit, yeah, we get cr- you start seeing Christmas shit, and it's like, it's September. Guys. Yeah, Halloween is clearly the better of the two it's, holidays. Yeah, and Halloween is massive. Like, you do not get that shit in... Um, America. You will wait until after Halloween is over. Yeah. Let's go to America. Let's just live in America now. Sure, we might get shot by a cop, but, you know... Well, yeah. I mean, we won't be. Statistics say. We're white, so... (laughs) Wonderful. I thought, okay, maybe I'm being a bit too close to the bone with this joke. And then Robert just swoops in and makes it a bit (laughs) racy. Not racist, racy. Racy. Although, no, I wouldn't say it's racist. It's more just political humour. What you expect out of your... Oh, shit, we're a gaming podcast, aren't we? Oh, my God. I suppose we are. Should we talk about it? I forget that sometimes. Okay, there is um, possibly the biggest topic to actually come out in a while, and this one is scary. In theme of our Halloween theme, huh? It's um, rather unsettling, but... Have you, oh, is this the, the Trans Pacific yeah. Partnership thing? Have you heard? I much? heard from you and the Blakes. Oh, were we talking about it around you? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, so you just you just fucking forget every I was conversation drinking. you ever have with me. You, none of no no nothing we ever. <laughs> no no no. Not, like every moment you spend with me, you aren't even absorbing fucking knowledge. You're just. Going through the motions. Isn't that what life is, Robert? Just going through the motions. Going through the motions. Oh God, is that a song? Losing all my drive. Robert, are what? you? What are you? Like a musical star or something? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it terminal? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it's terminally fabulous. <laughs> This is this is going by so slowly. I feel sorry for the listeners. I know. I'm like, oh no, this is not a good. I'm this just sitting here thinking, the... I've got to do dishes when I'm done. This then is... I'm going to bed because I'm sad. This is a bad episode. It's not. It's not the worst. I don't think. 
Are you sure it's not the worst? I'm pretty sure it's not the worst. Have we had a worse podcast than this? I don't know. I I feel like I feel like Sexy Sexy Ken was quite dry. No, I, I I listened to Sexy Sexy Ken the other day, and I thought it was funny. Okay, then let, let's let's be harsh on ourselves. What do we think is the worst podcast we've done? I'm gonna see if I can locate yeah, all like, of the previous episodes. I've not actually got my oh, iPod with me. What? Oh uh, my god! This is what I, oh oh, we found the question. Ah! <laughs> Good news, everyone! We have something to talk about. Oh my god! It's about video games too. <laughs> Only thirty-five minutes into the podcast, but whatever. Let's get you, into it. You want to know how many questions there are, Nathan? How many? Seventy. <laughs> oh. Do we want to discuss the TPP or? Oh, well, I mean, it's up to you. Um, ah, no, this whole episode's been dry enough. Let's have some fun. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, for, thank you for joining in for the Ancestral Gamers podcast. Now, just listen to um, Nathan and Robert dick around for about an hour. <laughs> yeah. No, do you know what I think has been the um, perhaps the driest episode? Probably the E three one. Yes, definitely. Because that was we just... were actually talking about news, and we were like, yeah. "This is terrible." <laughs> Didn't we say this has been very boring during it? Yeah, but like it was, it was the most informative, probably. <laughs> it probably wasn't because the people who cared that much about this sort of thing, already they've do. already gone to other podcasts who are better than us. Oh, Nathan! <laughs> oh, come on! We're awesome. We're entertaining, but we're shit we're... when it comes to the news. <laughs> when it comes to the news, we're not the best. We look up headlines and say, "Yep, yeah, that's news." We're awesome. <laughs> Would you like to ask me these questions? Yes. Okay. What was the first game that you played obsessively? Oh, God. Um, this is tricky because I can I can name three that I think it could be. Um, I was very young, so I, I have very few memories. Um, I will actually go for the very first video game memory that I have, which is actually... Um, Mega Bomberman for the Sega Mega Drive 2. Mm. Or, sorry, Sega Genesis for anyone in the States. Um, mm. That is going to be tied with, I'd say, by uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Which I pretty much literally couldn't go to anyone's houses without um, bringing the console and playing it there. <laughs> you were the worst! I, I was I was the kid who's like, yeah, Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm here to socialise with you. I brought my Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> no, I I was always the kid who was like, hey, can I come around your house? Cool, I'm going to play this video game. You can join in if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, By joining, I mean, you can watch me, and if I die, you get to take over, but guess what? I'm good. I'm good. You'll watch me complete this game. <laughs> and then then I'd lose like immediately. Like, no! You're not allowed! <laughs> you're the worst. I've always been a little shit now thinking you're about it. You're the worst. How am I the worst? You're a terrible person. Tell me this. Have I ever bought, um, a, have I ever bought out a drug that was in very high um, need and want and raised the price by 700%? Yes. Well, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, fine, 750%. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank no. you. There, I'm not the worst. <laughs> okay, um, for me, I think it would be a game called Legend of Dragoon, which I've talked about. Yeah, you've talked about before. this podcast. You've made it actually sound very interesting. That you got in that late? No. I was going to say, because that was PS1, wasn't it? It is. Oh, wait, I forget, you're younger than me. It's the first <laughs> game that I played, like, over and over and over and over and over. Oh, right. The question was obsessively. I, everything else I kind of played, but like I wasn't like, oh, I need to play this a million times. Um, well, that's the thing. I, th- I think the reason that um, you play a, a Sega Mega Drive game obsessively is because you can't save it. Yes. You literally have to play it over and over again to get your money's worth out of it. Yeah. I mean, because I used to have a Nintendo 64, like an NES, all that shit, when, like, back in the day. I'm not that much younger than you, you do. <laughs> You're literally, like, a year younger than me, I think. <laughs> you knob. <laughs> like, um, so long as we don't bring height into the equation, I think we're fine. Nathan is so sure. I'm not so Nathan sure. Nathan is so sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure. You guys may think that he sounds like a strapping, tall man. I am seven foot five. <laughs> he is t- actually five foot six. I am a seven foot five ebony bull <laughs> seeking female counterparts. No, shut up. <laughs> He's a five foot six little baby. Shut up. I am five foot ten, so fuck him. Fuck off, are you five foot ten? I'm five foot ten. Oh, shut up. You're at least five... You're, like, five foot eight at the most. No, I'm five ten. But I'm five... There's no way you're, like, 
four. Okay, four. Okay. okay. I am five ten. Shut up! I'm not remember standing how, up. Remember how? Remember how much four inches is? Stand Shut up. up! Stand up! I do all the time. Yeah, you should know. Sorry, was... should know how much four inches is. <laughs> That's a self-depreciating joke that I will not stand by. <laughs> No, I have a large one, thank you. I talk about my penis enough to... Never mind. What? What was that? I talk about my penis too much to want to say, Robert, put your phone away, you dirty mouth little boy. So, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm being a harsh little teacher now. Um, okay. Okay, second question. What was... Well, Out of 70. I, I skipped to the ninth one, because the rest oh, were kind of stupid. Okay. Um, what is your most regrettable video games purchase? Um... As in one that I like do a I, game, a game that you bought and you were like, "Why did I?" Do I have to have paid for it myself, or do, or could it have been bought for me? Mm. Or, should, or should I just answer both? Let's say, let's say bought. F- uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with both. What's the worst game that you received? Worst game that I've received um, has to have been a game. I think I've talked about it on this podcast before. I think it's called. I the, the disc doesn't actually have a name on it, but I believe it's called Hugo and the Quest for the Sunstones. Right. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely called Hugo. That may or may not be the subtitle to it, but essentially it's um, a Crash Bandicoot ripoff, but very badly done. And I played this game when I was like, I want to say ten, I think. And it was dog shit. It oh, was no. absolutely awful. Even as a young cherub child, I thought, "Oh, this is really bad." I, I, I can't. I don't want to play more than the third level. I'm sorry for you buying me this. But no, the worst game that I've bought, um, or rather the most upsetting decision to purchase a game I've made, probably. Uh, does the question say regrettable? Yeah. Okay, so not the worst. The one that you just regret buying the most. I think I bought The Sims Three twice. Oh no! Because, <laughs> because I think I I think I broke my first edition of it, and oh. so I'm like, oh, I should buy this again. This was in the days before I realized pirating was a thing, <laughs> where pirating is okay if you already bought the game. That's terrible, Robert. Um, how do you? How would you like to answer that question? Um, I. I don't buy games. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, every game that I buy, I research first. I've, I don't think I've regretted a game's purchase. I don't know if it counts, um, but I've got some stuff in like the humble indie bundle that I thought, oh, this is dog shit. <laughs> I really don't think I got my. I really don't think I got my money's worth in this. Mm, yeah, it's true. Stuff like uh, Jamestown and um, Hammer Fight and Gratuitous Space Battle. Just ugh. Mm. I think I actually got those all in one bundle, so oh, that's my no. fault, I guess. This uh, this question is irrelevant to you because, like, you're married. But would you date someone that hates gaming? How, okay, I, I know this isn't your question, but I, sh- I I might ask you to expand. Like, how do you scro- describe hates? As in, like, someone goes, "Oh, you're such a nerd for playing games." No, or... someone that's like, "I can't believe you spend your." Sp- freeze time playing video games How no you? <laughs> <laughs> if, if it was someone like oh I don't like games myself but if you want to play that's fine just you know if I want to watch TV I'm going to watch TV yeah if that, that would be fine if it's like oh, why are you playing that fucking game you fucking freak you <laughs> fucking freak get out of my playground you loser <laughs> <laughs> sorry I flashbacks yeah I couldn't date someone that hates gaming but like I could date someone that doesn't game that's the thing. Yeah. Like, if they didn't do it themselves, like, whatever, but if they per- went out of their way to be like, that's a stupid thing and you it's should like, feel bad. I, th- I like, think I think um, Craig and I have a pretty good uh, dating... Re- uh, re- dating, it's like gaming relationship mm. because we're both, we're both more PC gamers than we are console and we both have our own PCs, so it's kind of like we leave each other alone. When we're in game mode, it's like, no, 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 fuck off. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is important time. Fuck off. <laughs> um, how about... Uh, game that you yeah what's a game that you know like the back of your hand like you know every secret every turn every everything where everything is oh god um would you like to answer that first I might think about that I might uh, oh actually no thinking about it um I'd probably say Final Fantasy 8 mm. I think that's one that I've that's probably like the second most obsessive game I've played. Probably would be Final Fantasy VIII because I know every draw point. Yeah, <laughs> I know where to find all of the ultimates, how to get everyone to hundred level hundred very easily. I know where to find all the GFs and how to do. Yeah, yeah. 
Or, That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything like that? Yeah, I, I, I'm the same. Like, RPGs, like, that's where it's at, like... Well, um, yeah, because, like, after a while, you just sort of... You build up a strategy of, like, um... Okay, I know how to do this game well. I just... Every... Every... For me, it's every single Pokemon. I know, like, the back of my hand. I, I've always... I've always had to... The, poker, the Pokemon world is too huge for me to memorise. I always had really? to have... Yeah. It's not even that big. It, I know it's not, but I can never remember it. I've always used, um... It, a walkthrough guide Re- whenever oh, I play it. Been... No, I know where everything is. Well, no, okay, because a lot of them are stupid. Like the fucking Lieutenant Surge or whatever it is, getting in, getting to his gym. It's like you, you just touch... go to the SSN and then you get cut and then you go back and you can cut it. What? No, no, no. It's in like, not sorry, not getting to the gym, but actually getting to himself. Like you have to touch oh, barrels to in a cer- certain touch, order. Yeah, well, that uh, that's arbitrary, but that's like not hard. Ugh. It's random every time, so a walkthrough won't fucking help you. No, I know, but there was shit like that throughout the game. And then like um, Golden Sun as well. I played I played it a bunch of times, and uh, Legend of Dragoon as well. I know where everything is. I know how to get all of the extra attacks, like everything. Um... I, I'm just really into RPGs, and I always have been. I, I would never say I've actually... I've actually I, I wouldn't say I'm like into RPGs as like just sort of a general thing. Oh, it's just because... I love it. If it's turn-based, I'm like all over it. I'm just... I'm kind of... Playing Until Dawn has made me realise that either you are a very heavily story-driven game and you have solid gameplay, or you are a very heavy, heavily gameplay-based game... Eh, and you have um, a solid story. That's, well, but like, if you try and flip between the two, it doesn't necessarily work for me. So, what are you going to interrupt with? Well, Persona. What you've never never played? Never Persona. played it. Um, it is an anime. It's not like it's a video game. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying I've never it's, played Persona as in I've never no, wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. But but what it is basically is um, an RPG. That really, really focuses on story as well as gameplay. Like, it has really solid, like, original kind of gameplay in, like, the fact that you have different personas, different strengths and weaknesses, like, turn-based attacking in dungeons. But, like, at the same time, when you're, you can, you, you have, like, you live the everyday life of the person. You go to school, and you make friends, and you build up yeah. your social links. And, like, but, like... It's... I have a hard enough time doing that in real life, though. Yeah, I, I know. I, I got really distressed, because I just beat Persona 5 Golden. And... That's a fifth one? No, I mean Persona 4 Golden. They, they are making a fifth one. Oh. Um, I don't know if it's... I know if Persona 4 I Arena. I don't know if it's out yet, though. I don't know. but um, Probably in Japan, because... The... It was... I, I, I got really upset because I didn't complete every social link and it made me sad because I beat oh. the game and I was like, but I didn't get to finish everything. <laughs> Gary thinks I'm a slight turd. <laughs> Gary didn't like me as much as he should. <laughs> just, I'm just imagine the main character and I was like, Gary! Gary, Gary loved love me! me. Yeah. Well, what I also like is that, um, like, because in Persona 4, it's like, uh, the characters get pushed into a TV world and then, like, the TV world plays out, like, a, a kind of, like, what these people actually think. So, like, this oh, big... That sounds kind of awesome. This big, like, tough guy is like, oh, blah, blah, like, oh, I'm gonna take you punks down. And, like, in the TV world, he's like, welcome to Kanji's ba- steamy bathhouse. And it's like... Ah, and, uh, it's so funny. Like, and he's like, what are you saying? I like dudes? And it's like, no. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> like that, that one specific I've, part is. Really I've, I've heard Persona Four is entertaining at the least. It's very, I, it's it's very me, good. It's maybe interested. Um, but no, just I recommend it because it, 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 it. I find it gets the balance of. I mean, it, in the beginning and near the end, it's a bit too story focused. But in the middle of the game, it has a really good balance. Good, good. So I think you could. I, I think you should play it. Good. If you've never played a Persona uh, game. I don't know, can I kind of borrow it? You, yeah. If you have it. Do you, I, I mean, do you it's, have down, it? it's downloaded on my PS Vita, oh. but I'm sure you could, like... I've, I don't, I've never touched a PS Vita. I'm sure you could borrow I w- it. I, I, w- I would like it, but... I, I, I love my PS Vita, it's great. Oh, I feel so sorry for the PS Vita, because it's so it's such promising technology, but they just did nothing no, fucking I with know. it. I love my PS Vita, But though. that's just Sony, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Sony. we've got the PlayStation Move, perhaps the best motion control system out there. There's no games. 
What, um, what, you wanted games for this? Fuck off. We're just showing off. And I can only imagine they'll do the same with a fucking Orpheus. Ooh. I think that, um... Because when Persona 5 comes out, I'm only going to assume it's coming out for the PS4. So you should just get that. And then you could play that. It'd be awesome. Yeah, sure. Do you want to ask me a question, Robert? Yeah. Let me get back to my questions. <laughs> we've done well considering <gasps> all we've talked about in this episode is, like, porn and these questions. Oh. Have you lost them? Oh, Robert. Tumblr did that thing again. What thing? Where it goes up to the top of the page. Oh, Robert. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Are you going to get there within the next few seconds? It's more than likely. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck me, it's man. Like, in the meantime, I'm, so I'm just going to plug myself. my shit and tell you that um, the Who Needs Quality channel has had a very successful... Um, shall I say, run of videos this past month. Um, you know, all in the uh, the Halloween spirit, uh, called Super Scary Spooky Times. Super Scary Spooky Times. A lot of which uh, contains uh, two down your spine. familiar voices you may know. Uh, myself Me, and Robert. Nathan. Us two. Uh, we've also got Blake and Ginny involved in some of the games, and Jace in the first two episodes of Until Dawn, at least. Um, and yeah, they've been very interesting. Uh, it's been an absolute pain in the bottom, as I mentioned last time, to get out, but I believe Robert has found his question, so I'll uh, stop boring you now. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, so I'm gonna say. Okay, um, what game has your favourite, like, soundtrack, like, oh, favourite music in a game? Easily, easily Sonic 2. I have I have all the first three um, Sonic games soundtrack on my iPod. That's that's like I know that's only like... the intro or slash the um, the super not Super Sonic. Sorry, I mean the uh, invincibility song. It's, you know, it's all right, but you know, it's it's no Mystic Cave Zone. It's it, it's no Hilltop Zone, Robert. All right. It's no it's no fucking Marvel Zone. Do you ever think of that, Robert? <laughs> What about you? What's your favourite music from games? Do I? Did you ask me to speak, pick a specific song? Sorry. No. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, just, just for the record, though, it's definitely Mystic Cave Zone. We we gathered. I would say Eternal Sonata. Never heard of it. It's a JRPG. Of course it is. Um, I really like it because it incorporates lots of um, Chopin's music, and that's classical um, uh, composer that I really like. Eternal Sultana's Sonata. Eternal Santana. Bambas. <laughs> Why would you? How could you even? Colonel the Pampers. Okay, how about? Uh, is there a game that you are ashamed to admit that you like? I don't think so. A lot of the games I like aren't exactly. Oh my god, you like that? God, what a freak. Get out of the playground, Nave. <laughs> um, I don't think. I don't think there is. Um... Well, I, I mean, I'm not ashamed to say it, but like, it's when I when I say that I played it, some people give me funny looks. Like, oh. um, the really old Yu-Gi-Oh game. Oh, well, Forbidden Memories. Forbidden Memories. Yeah. Forbidden Memories, fucking awesome. I've got. I've still, well, I've still got the disc. No, actually, for think it. about it. Forbidden yeah, Memories I mean, is pretty shit. I know. What is it? It isn't even that great, but I really loved it. It was great. It was it was the first Yu-Gi-Oh game. It was fucking impossible to get through the campaign mode. It wasn't. I did it. All right, shut up. <laughs> but whatever. Um, whatever. I, su- I suppose maybe The Sims. Hmm. Su- that's, that's kind of a thing of it's not exactly. Oh wait, there was there was a long period of time where I was really into Wii Sports. Is that kind of an embarrassing thing? Yeah. Okay, Wii Sports. <laughs> I still love, fucking love Wii Sports. I don't care. Okay. Which is oh, why I beat Jace in, in Wii Sports. In games where you get to, like, pick your class or, like, job kind of thing, um, do you tend to go for the same type of, like, class every time? Um, just trying to think of... So, like, if you were if you went on a, like... Uh, let's just yeah. give an example of like an MMORPG. Like, oh, well, like, I don't play MMOs, but if like, we, if you we would say Skyrim, yeah, if you if like if you were a mage or a fighter or like a thief or something, like what would you what what do you tend to usually go for? I do tend to usually go for your sneaky variety. 
Mm. I do tend, I do usually go for that, but I tend to have a very mixed build, um, especially in Skyrim. Um, usually, when I begin sort of like an action an action role playing game like that, mm-hmm. uh, I do tend to have a fairly mixed attribute skill set. Um, I'll, I'll usually start off trying to be sneaky and thievy and you know hoard all the money I can basically. But the minute I get my hands on like a decent like strength based weapon, all motherfuckers are dying. <laughs> But uh, it, it depends on the game itself. <clears throat> like in Skyrim, I do tend to go for brute force, yet at the same time sort of light armor, quicker. Like sort of um, agile and strong yeah. is, how, is, how I describe, is, is how I describe all of my character builds. Mm-hmm. If that helps you at all. No, oh, yeah. Uh, how would you I say? would say part of, like about the same. I like sneaky characters. I but will... you also want to make sure that no one can get near you. Yeah, I used... Um, when I played Final Fantasy, I... Played a thief when I played, yeah. Final, which Final Fantasy? Uh, it's the online one. Oh, fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, I don't do MMOs. My thief turned into a ninja. Like just, just, just one day, just happened. Yeah, I love it. Um, and then, uh, let me let me think about another one. Um. Oh, this is stupid. Do you know the Konami code? <laughs> yeah, we uh, get rid- two up, two down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Yeah, that one. I've, I've never actually played a game where that's been implemented, but sure. Um, yeah, the Konami code is to get rid of your really good games devs, right? Yeah. 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 It's to claim that they're not dead; they're just sort of, you know, hiding. <laughs> Um, have you... This is, this is great, radio. Have you ever used cheats in a game? (laughs) Of course I have! Like, who hasn't played Grand Theft Auto and not used the cheats? I don't think they count, because they're implemented. Have you ever exploited, like, a game's kind of, like... Like, cheated on a game where cheating was not... Something that was implemented, like using a game shark or something. Oh, yes, like actually. Hacking, hacking hex codes and whatever. <sighs> what is in like uh, not ones that are like, oh, I'm gonna hold all of these buttons and then type in basically the Konami code. He's saying the Konami code doesn't count. Mm, yeah, no, that doesn't count. I'm gonna say it doesn't count. The only one I can think of um, was as you say, it was a game shark mm. thing. It was for Final Fantasy VIII, believe it or not. Hey. And um, it, thinking about it, it was actually kind of bullshit, because it basically um, gave you one, level 100 characters across the board, gave you all the items, all the magic, all ever, gave you everything, and started you with the final boss. Oh. Huh. Cool. And let me just tell you, all, all, of the, um, all of the GFs, the Guardian Forces, all of the magic, all of the levels, all of the items, all of the strength attributes, that's are not enough to beat that last boss. <laughs> not on its own. You need, you need to play that game for at least a good 50, 80 hours before to, to know how to have a long battle and live. <laughs> and even then, I'm still not sure. Just spam GFs, right? That's how you do it. Well, that, yeah, but that's the thing, because some of them don't even work on um, uh, bosses. Mm, yeah. Because they're sort of like status attribute ones, or like um, health-based. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, Rob, I have a question for you now. Please. Where can Where the that? lovely people on the internet find you on the internet? Whoa, that was completely unexpected! Um, yeah, by the way, we're ending the show. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Uh, you can find me on Twitter. You might be closer to the microphone. You're rather quiet now. You kind of just sort of walked away. You can find me at Twitter. No, that's too loud. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Robert has a vlog. Um, and you can find me on Instagram by the same name if you want to see my face. Also, um, you can... F- Find him on the Tumblr where oh, he looks yeah. at all of his porn. Find me on Tumblr. If you go through my likes, you can see all the porn I like. Um, <laughs> you can find me there at ecto b oneologist Also, if you're a single male and you have a beard, <laughs> and just send me a message. And mes- a, a bit of a belly, apparently. Send me a message on Twitter, yo. If you are Barry Kramer of the Game Grumps. Oh, no, man. <laughs> I love Barry so much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now for the real part of the show. If you want to find me on the internet, don't bother. (laughs) 
He was really antisocial. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, <laughs> it, it goes so many levels. It goes deeper and deeper and deeper. Yeah, it does. Well, that's an old joke, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Oi, oi. Um, you can find me on Twitter if you want to at whodatnate. That's W H O D A T N A T E. Um, if you want the good stuff, if you want to get to the real meat of the bone, except there's no meat in bones, you can, <laughs> you can, you can find the YouTube channel that Robert and I star in, along with some other friendly peeps who you may be interested to look at with your eyes, with your seeing eyes. Um, you can find the YouTube channel, um, all one word, who needs quality? Who needs quality? Which is, which is such a marketable name. I just wish other people would realise that. It's like, you go up to a, a boardroom and you're like, hey, I got a quality product for you. It's called Who Needs Quality. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I can imagine myself being in a boardroom full of old men like with a PowerPoint presentation and the logo pops and like, Who Needs Quality? I press a button and just the word words you, you do, do. Up, appear underneath it and I just go, ah, ah, and then they all throw their money at me. Oh my God, that's brilliant. And then I wake up and cry. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, it just. Did that, you want to see more porn? That, no, that guy was at the gym earlier. The one that. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> is, it, is this isn't the one who I confused for someone else? Is it? No, it's that guy. Oh, you saw him, right? I'm pretty sure I did. He was doing the thingy. Yeah, yeah. He he was very good at doing the thingy. <laughs> I was. I must admit, I did stare a little bit. <laughs> that's the thing. The gym I go to has much nicer looking gentlemen. Not that that's the reason I go. Really? But... Yeah. Well, if... Never mind. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about boys. We're going to talk about boys. <laughs> We're going to dress up in jammies, eat popcorn, watch scary movies, and talk about boys. I'll go home and get my onesie. <laughs> Let's not. Uh-oh. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.